be yourself. Everybody else is taken. <laughs> because it helps me at work, it helps me with, with everything. Like, even if I have a problem that I need to solve, I'd always be, okay, this is me. And uh, I'm not like a tough woman or like, a, you know, like empowering and all that, but this is the way I am. And like, I just deal with everything the way I feel I was born. And um, even for like my work, I never try to be someone else. I just try to always ask myself, but who are you? And try to stick to who I am. Dream. Um, I just believe so much that if you put something in your mind and you dream about it, then you end up succeeding and having what you dreamt about it if you really, really, really want it very, very much. So for me, like, I was blessed to be born with like a passion, but I was the last person on earth to be able to, like when I think about my, my childhood, I was at school and um, I always knew I wanted to be a designer, but um, we had a project where we had to sew an apron and I was so bad at in sewing that the whole class finished like four projects and until the end of the year, I was still sewing my apron with like, I never forget red cherries and red pockets. And it took me a whole year to do what people did in two months. But, uh, and I never knew how to draw well. And, um, but it was my dream and I followed my dream. And, um, and I think that if it wasn't strong enough, I would just not have, I mean, not being able, not, I wouldn't have done anything out of it. Because we only have one skin and if we don't, uh, uh, take care of it, then it's just not gonna age in the, in the best way. And I feel it's a lot about like the hygiene of the skin and all that, but also the hygiene of what you eat. Food is very important to the skin and um, taking care of my skin. I feel the most important thing if someone has to do only one thing, it's cleansing the skin. Uh, Sarah Colette. Uh, basically, she, she and her mom um, like um, created the store Colette in Paris, and for me, it's like um, it has always been my biggest inspiration since the day it was uh, it was done. Um, like to put all her dreams in one store, and um, and then to be so successful yet close it when it's at a very high. Um, I'm just like it's always an amazing inspiration that life will end one day. <laughs> so that's why I, I like, it. it goes again to everything, but I truly live life ev every day as if it's the last. Colorful, happy, uh, positive. Um, yeah, I think, I mean, I always try to, um, to express myself. I'm like, I can't change the world or make it a happier world or whatever, but I just, try with colors and I, I feel that it's the strongest therapy and the easiest and the cheapest that anyone can have access to. My bracelets. <laughs> I feel like I'm naked if, I'm, if they're not with me and I feel like they're part of my life. So the right hand is like uh, all from like, like souvenir bracelets from trips that I've done. So uh, like I have this one, it's like I renewed my vows in Peru. Uh, so my 20 years uh, anniversary and so that was the shaman who tied it on it so every time I think about it I just like when I look at my arm it reminds me of that I have one like from my favorite uh, surf destination it's like before you leave they give you a bracelet and you you tie it so like every single uh, bracelet has a story behind it